everyone. Today we're reading from Galatians chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. Verse 1 is one of my favorite verses in all the, God, all the Bible. It says this, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. I love the message of the gospel, that Jesus did what we could not do ourselves. He paid uh, the punishment that we deserve, took that upon himself on the cross, and imparted to us his righteousness, his uh, holiness. And so we are completely free from the guilt uh, and the shame that come from sin. We are made new and made alive in Jesus Christ. And so uh, that was his goal, was that we would have a spirit of freedom to walk in obedience to him, uh, to walk in obedience to our Father God, and to enjoy that relationship, not to be motivated by fear or doubts of whether or not we're good enough, but the cross simply says it's finished, and you are right, you are made righteous through what Jesus has done. And so Paul here is just reminding the church in Galatia, the believers, these new believers, that that is the truth. That's the truth of the gospel, that they are free uh, through what Jesus has done. And so these agitators that are following Paul, telling these new believers that, well, it's nice to believe in Jesus and the gospel, but you also need to be circumcised and you need to follow certain rules of the law. Uh, that we find in the Old Testament, Paul is saying that is just a perversion of the gospel. The gospel in and of itself is enough. It's not the gospel plus anything that I do. Uh, and he, he tells them, if you go ahead and be circumcised, then you're going to just live in slavery to the entire law. If you say that this part of the law must be fulfilled, you're saying that the entire law must be fulfilled. And then he encourages them in verse 6, he says, the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. And that's what Jesus is calling us to, is a faith in him and his finished work on our behalf, and then a deep love for him, for our God the Father, and for others around us. And so today, as we go about our day, I hope that we can just think of it about the freedom that we have in Christ, that we would carry ourselves with joy, knowing that even when we're called to obedience, that obedience is rooted in a freedom and a joy that what we do and how we follow the Word of God is for our own benefit, and it's out of love from God. It's not to discourage us. It's not to point out uh, our faults, but rather through Jesus now, our obedience comes out of love and out of freedom. And so I hope you carry that with you today. Have a great day. Thank you.